Hi, you are watching module 1 videos. In module 2, we have around 120 videos. We teach Java with Selenium in real time. So, end to end Java will be there and end to end Selenium will be there in complete real time. We provide classroom training as well as online training. So, complete Java and Selenium will be there in real time. Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk how to execute failed test cases in Selenium. So in the previous video, we were talking about the first approach, right? How to run failed test cases manually. So in the second video, we will talk how to rerun the failed test case using testng in testng by using testng class. So when it is going to be failed, what are the reasons and all those things, just watch my first video. Okay, you will get it now. So in this video, we will talk about we will execute the failed test cases using testng class. So in order to execute all the test cases automatically in Selenium, we have a class called testng class and which is from org.testng package. So in this org.testng package, we have a class called testng class. So in this testng class, we are having a method called run method by using that run method we can execute the what xml files so before executing that xml files we need to set the test suit which suit we need to run it so we can set by using that by using set test suit so by using this method we can set the suit which suit you want to execute it and then we'll call one method called what is the method run method now see here programmatically i'll show you right see here now let me create one package new package com dot soft dot listeners in my previous video i explained many listeners i test listener event firing web driver listener and web driver event listener event firing web driver listener and then i retry analyzer Okay, I test listener adapter. Lot of listeners I explained. Just watch my previous videos. Okay, yes. Now let me create one creating one class. I am taking class name as a test to a, and again I am taking one more class as taking one more class as new class test to b. Again I am taking one more class as test to c. Now see here what I am doing. So just I am taking, just see here I am taking one method called login method. So just dummy method I am taking public void login. Now I am writing sysom of and login method. And then I am writing some assert statement assert dot assert equals I am writing Java and then I am writing Java. Let me make this one as a test case at the rate test. Right? Good. Now let me take one test case in this class. I am taking my test case as a logout. Now I am making it as a public. Now I am writing SYSO of logout method. Now here I am let me write some assert validations assert dot assert equals now I am writing assert equals now I am writing true again I am writing this one as a true. Now I am taking one method called compose method. Now let me take public void compose now here I am writing something some dummy statements I am writing don't worry about it okay compose now I am making assert data assert false assert false now I am making this one as a false now total how many test cases I am having three test cases I am having right yes so let me make this one as a at the rate test right yes simple what i did here i am taking three classes 
and in each class i am taking what one test method one test method right yes now this one is going to be pass yes and this one is going to be what pass and i am making which one as yes three are going to be pass or not yes let me make one test case wanted let me make failure now i am writing this one as a false right so out of three test cases my test b test case is going to be failed so if you want to run this three test cases as a suit we need to create what test ng dot xml file now see here what i am doing select this package now test ng convert to test ng now click on what finish now yes over edit yes now see here what happens just select this xml file see here three classes is there or not test a test b test c right now select this test ng dot xml file right click run as test ng suit now see here three test cases are going to be executed out of the two test cases one test case is going to be what failed now see here which test case got failed now see here now see here test a is got passed test c is got passed test b is getting what failed what is the error see here java dot lang dot assertion error expected false but found what true go to this test b class now see here it is expecting what false but found what true yes or no yes now one test case is um, getting failed or not yes one test case got failed now i want to see here if you want to see the failed test cases see here just once refresh this package project now automatically whenever we execute our test ng dot xml file through test ng automatically one folder is going to be generated by test ng called what is that folder test hyphen output folder in that folder in that folder our test ng is automatically going to generate one xml file called what is that xml file test ng hyphen failed dot xml now who is going to generate this test ng dot xml file my test ng when it is going to be generated whenever our test case are getting failed automatically my test ng is going to generate one file called what is that file test ng iphone file dot xml file what my test ng file dot xml contains test ng dot file dot xml file contains the failed test cases now see here just double click on it so in our case how many test cases got failed one test case is got failed or not what is the test case logout and is there in which class test b class now see here logout is getting failed in which class test to b class so who is generating this xml file automatically our test ng is going to generate uh, all the failed test cases into the what test ng ipon fail dot xml file so in the previous video how we ran this by selecting test ng ipon fail dot xml and then we are clicking what run as test ng suit now i don't want to do this one ma manually i want to do it with what now programmatically now here let me make the correction now i am making it as a true now my test case are going to be passed or not yes now see here select this test ng iphone fail dot xml file run as run as test ng suit now see here my test case yes is getting passed or not yes fail is what now zero but uh, i don't want to execute manually now i want to execute this one through what programmatically programmatically now see here what i'm doing now see here now see here in this package i am creating one class i am creating one class failed xml runner now click on okay now see here what i'm doing now let me take main method or anything main method or i at the rate test you can take anything i'm taking main method now inside this method i told you right in earlier we have one predefined class called what is a class test ng which is from org dot test ng package test ng something test is equal to new test ng new test ng now say what i'm what i'm telling yes now i created test ng object or in this test ng class we are having a method called what is that method set a test suit set a test suit now see it is expecting what list of uh, it is expecting list or not yes set a 
test source but expecting what list or not list of source or not yes now see what i am doing list of uh, list of i am passing string uh, so if you don't know about uh, collection framework just watch my previous videos they are explained completely with practical approach in real time okay so where we can use list set map hash table hash map hash set tree set cursors everything i explained as a part of module 2 videos just watch my module 2 videos yes list list is equal to now i am taking new array list new array list now give the semicolon now see here what i am doing i want to add what that xml file and so where that xml file is there that file.xml file so here it is or not yes so copy this location properties now shift and control c now see what i am doing now now just stop it i am making non escape sequences yes yes now see what i am doing now now i want to pass what is that here list now see what i am doing list right so after setting the test suits yes i want to run uh, this test suits now i need to call what to run it now i need to call in test ng class we are having a method called what is that method run method now see here now this run method will execute what this total test suits what this test suits is having my test ng iphone fail.xml file or not yes now see how i am running right click run as java application now see what happens yes now see here my test case is getting passed or not yes failures are what zero so this is the way to run what test ng iphone fail.xml files that is this is the way to run a failed test cases using what test ng class programmatically so in the coming videos we'll talk with what listeners and in module 2 we have almost 100 videos okay so all are one topic with wonderful beautiful real time frameworks everything we'll talk in the module 2 okay thanks for watching the video have a good day thank you so much